What's up guys? Welcome back to Rack of Lamb. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I will be sharing a modernized way to make a popular Chinese dessert or snack. Fried milk! <coughs> Traditionally, fried milk is coated in a batter, then deep fried. While I must admit that that is a tastier variation, it's not necessarily healthy, especially when you can't stop eating them. So I've decided to make a healthier air fried version, which reduces calories and fat. So if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Before we begin, let's gather 30 grams of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, one cup of milk, and optionally one eight teaspoon of salt. Start by pouring the ingredients into a small pot. Then constantly stir on low heat until the mixture thickens. But don't let it thicken to the point where it's completely stuck on the pot. You want it to have a nice and smooth consistency, just like this. For ease of removing the milk, pour it into a dish lined with parchment paper or a thin coating of oil. Ideally, you want to pour the mixture into a smaller square or rectangular dish. Since I don't own one, I am improvising today by filling this dish halfway and folding parchment paper over to form somewhat of a box. I got pretty creative, I would say. What do you think? Now cover the dish with a lid or saran wrap and place it in the freezer for two hours. After two hours, your milk mixture should have solidified and taken the form of your dish or makeshift box in my case, but it's still soft to the touch. Carefully transfer the milk out of the dish and parchment paper if you're using it and onto a cutting board. This recipe does yield eight pieces, so I'm going to cut this huge chunk of milk into eight equal sizes. Feel free to have fun with the shapes, maybe even cutting them into bite-sized squares. I don't know about you, but this unevenness is irking me, so I'm going to trim off this end for aesthetic reasons. Now that's much better. Once the milk is ready, you may set it aside, but don't let them sit too long as they will soften, become fragile, and more difficult to handle in the next step. In three separate bowls, you're going to transfer a half cup of flour, a half cup of panko breadcrumbs, and a beaten egg. And FYI, I'm starting you off with just half a cup of panko and flour because I hate when food goes to a waste. So if you find that you're running low in the next process, just add more. With one block of milk at a time, you are now going to dunk them into the flour, then into the egg, and followed by the panko breadcrumbs. Make sure the blocks are coated evenly with each ingredient. Ain't that beautiful? Repeat the process until all the pieces are thoroughly coated with flour, egg, and panko. At Chinese banquets, I always feel guilty having too many pieces of deep fried milk, but I am going to be using this Kai Vol air fryer today and creating a guilt free version. Perfect. 
prior to air frying, I am going to spray a light coating of oil onto the surface of the milk box. Carefully transfer each into the air fryer basket, ensuring that the side that has been coated with oil faces the top. Now air fry at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, flipping halfway. Keep in mind that times and temperatures may vary depending on your air fryer. The 6-quart air fryer features 12 preset options on a touchscreen display and a see-through window for you to monitor your delicious food. If you're interested in the details, make sure you check out the description below. With only 5 minutes left, I flipped each piece of milk, sprayed the other side with another light coating of oil, and let the air fryer finish up the rest of the work. The smell of creamy milk filled the air. Isn't this a unique way to get calcium into your system? After plating each piece, my daughter was the first to dig in. Then came my turn to give it a taste. Mmm, crispy on the outside and warm and creamy in the inside. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.